Uh, hi everyone, uh, thank you so much for uh, giving me this opportunity and clicking on this video. And in this video, I'm going to actually talk about a portfolio and uh, for those who are actually looking forward to start their uh, career in data science and machine learning, it can always be really helpful if they build a strong portfolio. I often see that in order to become a data scientist or machine learning engineer in some of the websites such as LinkedIn, they say that one must require at least a master's degree or a PhD degree. Compared to software engineering jobs, which only just require a master's degree or just a bachelor's degree, I would say. Therefore, if you can actually build a portfolio and uh, showcase it to the employers, it can actually add a lot of value and it can also uh, show you uh, how you have built the portfolio over many years. And you can just uh, uh, take a look at your work in, in the future as well. And when you are actually building a portfolio, it's also important to consider some important platforms uh, and uh, useful things which can uh, help uh, build a strong portfolio. Uh, I personally used uh, GitHub uh, as my uh, platform where I can actually showcase my portfolio to the employers. And uh, this is a very strong uh, indicator that uh, you have the potential to actually work with the, uh, with the data science and machine learning and showcase some of your projects. In this uh, video, I'm going to explain about my portfolio and about uh, the various steps that I have uh, taken to build this portfolio. And uh, let us get started. Yeah. And as you can see, uh, GitHub has this very interesting readme file, uh, which can actually be, be uh, pasted uh, just in front of the, uh, I mean, as soon as someone uh, just uses your GitHub, they can just uh, get to see this home page. And uh, it is important to actually design this home page. And I have, uh, uh, created this home page uh, along with the various ways at which uh, we can actually connect and for example i have added a click here so that uh, people who wants to connect me on linkedin they can do it and in many other ways as well and i have also described about uh, my motivation and about me about the skills that i have and the employers can basically look at uh, some of your skills for example if they look at python they can just see uh, how Python, what actually Python is, or many other uh, skills or tools. And it can be very useful if you can add a summary of your GitHub portfolio so that uh, employers can also see the work that uh, you have done over the course of uh, a few years. And uh, they can also see the notebooks or the type of programming language that was used and also the commits. The commits actually give us a good idea about uh, uh, about uh, the total work that you have done and uh, the total commits that you, uh, you have actually worked upon. And this is the portfolio overview. And uh, here below are some machine learning projects that I have been working on. And similarly, we do have the natural language processing projects. We have computer vision projects. We have data visualization, SQL projects. Uh, whatever projects that you actually do in the university or during your master's, you can just uh, post them on your GitHub or on your uh, uh, custom portfolio so that you can increase your chances of uh, getting in a very good company. That was one of the reasons why I got in a good company. I was able to showcase this portfolio and uh, I was able to build it. And uh, I also have created a few web scraping projects and also a HTML or CSS uh, projects as well. And if I can actually look at one of the projects that I worked on. If I click on, say, Washington Bike Demand Prediction, here we see the list of all the tools that we used. Apart from just the tools, we do have the introduction and some of the challenges that we are uh, trying to solve, how data science and machine learning could be used, uh, exploratory data analysis, which was which is actually the first part of machine learning, is uh, shown here and how I have extracted various insights from the data. And followed by these are the metrics. And finally, we use various machine learning models. And we also do have the outcomes from this project and also the future scope. When someone creates a GitHub portfolio, it can also be helpful if they can provide directions about how to actually download this repository so that people who are not aware of GitHub, they can also get to know 
how to actually run or develop or download uh, the repository and they can start working with our project. And uh, these are all uh, projects that uh, you can actually download and also learn from it and also understand how they are implemented. Therefore, and that is how I work with uh, some of these uh, projects uh, which you can take a look at. And after that, these are some additional informa additional information or insights that I have provided, work experience, and when we add some transcripts about ourselves. And if you have any publications on Medium or anything, you, you can also add that. Not just uh, Medium, we can also add uh, any other publications as well. But if you just click on any of the Medium uh, resources, you can uh, take, you, you will actually go there. It's important to also add your education, some of the assignments that you worked on, followed by your profile, Kegel profile, your resume, and references, and finally the contact information so that employers can just take a look at it and then they can either contact you either through LinkedIn or through Facebook or email. And here is a full overview. That was just the overview of the portfolio and here we do have a complete information about the motivation about some of the projects and what they're trying to actually solve and these are natural language processing projects similarly we do have computer vision projects and data visualization web scraping it's important to add some uh, gif files so that they look very interesting in your portfolio and uh, i have added all these files and uh, these values, the experience that you have, you can actually describe that in great detail. If you have any certifications, there are a ton of courses on Udemy or Coursera. You can actually go through them. And if you have already completed a few courses, then you can just add that in your portfolio as well. Add, uh, add it so that employers can potentially see. Uh, additionally, if you have any transcripts, you can add them so that employers can get to know about your credibility your experiences as a volunteer, if you do have any, your work experience and your education, followed by some of your assignments and key learnings along the way. If you have any competencies, you can just add them so that they can uh, showcase uh, your, culture, your work ethic and culture, how you actually manage with a group of people. And also I have added the Kegel profile so that people can see it. And if you do have some references, you can add them uh, who can actually talk about you and your work. And uh, also it's important to add some blogs as well. And finally, it's important to just give the summary of your portfolio, uh, showcasing about uh, the over overall, how you have started with machine learning and uh, also explain about your portfolio in as a summary. And I think that uh, building a strong portfolio if you are entering the field of data science and machine learning can be very useful, especially employers are actually looking for work, which a candidate has already done so that they can give him or her the job. And a lot of times when we look at uh, uh, websites uh, and uh, some of the courses, they, ex they do a good job in explaining about uh, a few toy data sets where we actually work upon data science uh, with a titanic data set or a few others. They really do a good job in explaining those concepts. But I would also suggest that uh, you can actually work with uh, real world uh, challenges. And we have websites like Kegel where we can build uh, these real world uh, challenges and uh, solve uh, problems with data science and machine learning for companies. Therefore, I would suggest uh, you can also go ahead with that. And uh, for those of you who do not have a lot of experience in data science, it can always be helpful to actually add all of your work in your portfolio so that it can increase your chances of uh, getting a job in some of the top companies. Thank you so much for taking your time. Uh, have a great day.